in your bag, your toolkit, you were given some baggy, a baggie with some beads and a string. You are going to be building what I call the string with wings. This was something that occurred as I was working in academic support with a seventh grader from Montgomery County. So if you don't have this, this you should have a baggie with the strings and the beads, a string and some beads and a clay. If you didn't get it, you'll get it this week. You can do it before our coaching session, but you'll be able to see how to use this. And if you have the beads and you have your kit, this is what you're gonna build. It's called Strings with Wings. Now I tried to get neon beads for you. And unfortunately the company didn't send that. So yours are more pastel. I like to use these neon beads with my students. <clears throat> your task is to use your nylon tipped lace. It's called a nylon tipped craft lace and to string it with beads. And then for this workshop, you're going to do 10 groups of seven. Notice that the beads next to each other are contrasting colors. So you will not put pink next to orange because I would not clearly be able to differentiate the colors. So when I'm building a multiplication tool, I wanna to make sure that the colors are distinct when they're next to each other. so that I can clearly move the beads. My knot is going to be further down from them. So what you got was half of a 42 inch string. Now, these can be shoelaces. They can be nylon tipped craft laces, <clears throat> but uh, I used to get them from a wholesaler and they were easier to get. Now they've become a little more uh, difficult to get so that my source for them gives me longer ones that I cut in half that in some ways makes it easier. But the, the key is that the student has to be able to move the beads to clearly see the quantity. And we are doing 10 groups of seven for this workshop. So this afternoon, probably in our second segment, I will be, I hope I get to this in the first segment, we need to do our 10 groups of seven on our string with wings. Contrasting colors. And we will be using that in the workshop. So that's building strings with wings for use in the workshop for building multiplication automaticity and a bunch of other stuff. I'm going to stop the video again.